Today I'm going to show you how to take an Amazon Fire 5th generation tablet and remove all of the Amazon crap and turn it into a normal Android tablet. We're going to use the Gadget Class Super Simple tool to uh, install the Google Play Store. We're going to remove the ads from the lock screen if you bought the ad supported version. We are going to root the device. We're going to block over the error updates so Amazon can't back and unroot your device. And then finally we're going to install the Nova Launcher to get rid of this Amazon UI right here. So, um, this is a brand new tablet. I just opened it up and let it install its updates. That is the one prereq for this uh, upgrade to work, is you want to make sure you're running uh, Fire OS version 1.1.1, uh, 5.1.1. And we're going to go to Device Options. We're going to go to System Update. And uh, it should say there, Fire OS 5.1.1. If it says anything earlier than that, go ahead and click check now and let it update itself. If it's anything after that, check the links down in the video description below. Um, I will update the file as needed to work with new versions or give you a link to the updated process. So after that, we're going to exit out. And right here on this screen, you're going to see uh, your device model, serial number. Click on serial number until developer option pops up. Click on developer options. Click on Enable ADB Debugging. That's it for the tablet. It is ready to go. It's a brand new tablet already. All we're going to do is set it right there. Now on the computer side, uh, we need to go ahead and uh, extract the files from our Gadget Class Simple Super Tool there. So just right click on it and click Extract All and Extract to the desktop there. That just puts a folder over here with all the files in it. You can use WinZip or 7-Zip to do that if you would like. Once you have that, go ahead and open up that folder, and we'll uh, drag that over here. And all you're going to do is click on this uh, number one file. Click here to start. That is the Gadget Class Simple Super Tool. And right when it starts up, it's going to check for devices right there. If you see numbers right there, it means you have a device connected. But since I don't have ADB drivers on here, uh, they're not going to be there. So. Let's go ahead and uh, start with option number one, install ADB drivers. And this is basically just a walkthrough. It's gonna open up Device Manager and uh, give you all the steps you need to do to get the drivers installed. Option two there is uh, for doing an ADB driver test. Uh, if you're not sure if you have ADB drivers, you can do that test. But we're gonna go ahead and hit enter. So that opens up the Device Manager. That's the same thing as right-clicking on your uh, Start button and going to Device Manager like that. It's the same exact thing. So once you've plugged in your Fire tablet, you should see a device here called Other Devices and Fire. What you're gonna do is right click on that, update device driver software, browse my computer, let me pick, and then make sure show all devices is selected there, then click Next, have disk, and then we're gonna browse to that folder on our desktop. So get a class simple super tool, and in that folder, there's a folder called USB driver. Just click on that, and in there you'll see this Android underscore winusb.inf. Select that, and click open. And click OK. And click Next. And yes. That's it. And you see instantly over here on the tablet, it pops up and says uh, that it's trying to connect via ADB. Do you want to allow this computer with this MAC address to connect? And you're going to want to select always and click OK. So now we're done. Let's go ahead and close our device manager. And we'll go back to our super simple tool here and hit enter. That'll bring us back to the main menu there. And now you see a device there, so we know ADB is working. So we're going to go straight into installing the Google Play Store. Hit Option 2 and press Enter. And the tool pretty much takes care of the whole process for you. No, uh, no thinking really necessary. All you have to do is keep pressing uh, Enter or Spacebar or whatever. It'll tell you what to do and just follow the prompts. It'll boot the device into fast mode, it'll reboot it, it'll do all kinds of stuff, so uh, don't worry about uh, having to think too much. Alright, that part is done, we're going to hit any key to enter, we're going to go back to the main menu here,
There's our device. And now we're going to select option three to go ahead and root the device. And this is the part that will take a while because it has to uh, copy over the new ROM. It has to do a whole bunch of stuff. Press any key to begin. It's going to go ahead and uh, boot the device into fast mode. Start copying the new ROM over. Uh, it's going to take a while. So just kind of let it do its thing. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and hit any key to continue. Press enter, return to the main menu. Now our device is fully rooted. Now what we want to do is go ahead and block uh, that uh, OTA update from Amazon so they can't reroute it. So hit option number four and hit enter. I want to give a shout out to Root Junkie, uh, C uh, South Dakota Shadow, uh, Chainfire, everyone that worked on this, even uh, Snoop05. I tried to use his uh, 15 second driver in this batch file and uh, I couldn't get to work with the Google drivers so uh, I went back to the driver installation instruction method. Going to hit any key to continue. Everyone over at XDA Developers uh, deserves, deserves mad props. If it wasn't for that community, uh, a lot of these devices would be stuck in GIMP mode. Alright, when it says gathering permissions for process, you want to make sure you uh, get past the lock screen and grant it permission in SuperSue. And then press any key to continue. And that part was easy. So now we're going to go ahead and, and uh, remove the lock screen ads. So we're going to hit option 5 and enter. Press any key to begin, and just let it take over. There we go, that's done. Press any key to continue, and return to the main menu. Alright, we're almost done. Now we're just going to get rid of the Amazon user interface and replace it with the Nova Launcher. You could just as easily replace it with the Google Now Launcher or uh, any other launcher of your choice. Press Option 6 and Enter. Press any key to begin. Press any key to continue, and we'll go ahead and return to the main menu. But we're all done now. That tablet is a uh, got the Google Play Store on it. It's got the ads removed from the lock screen. It has been rooted. It has been blocked, so Amazon can't unroot it. And we just finished installing the Nova Launcher. Pretty easy peasy. Not much to it. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Go over and subscribe to Root Junkie's channel. Uh, check out RootJunkie.com. And uh, if you're not a member of the XDA Developers Forum, go ahead and go over there and join up. It is a great place to uh, find information on all your Android and phone devices. So, no more Amazon shopping UI. We got... Uh, the Nova Launcher UI, all clean, looks like a normal Android tablet. We've got our uh, Play Store installed. Um, if you have any issues with the Play Store, you might just want to let your tablet sit for about 20 minutes, let it do its uh, over-the-air updates. Um, otherwise, log in here and then you can do updates that way. But other than that, we're all good to go. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check the video description for any updates to this process and all the links for this and all the great accessories for this device.